Nabu hi, Kamasta Kayo, and welcome to another video. And the first video of 2022. Hope you all had a nice Christmas and New Year. So the first video this year, I've decided to show a few plants that have kindly been gifted to myself and Edith over the past couple of years. Won't show every single one, just a few from each, ones that are growing well. They're all doing good, so don't worry, the others haven't died or anything. But I'll show all the others in an upcoming collection tour video. So first up are a few that my friend Phil sent to me. This is Hawthia Powder Snow. Going to bloom for the first time as well. Hopefully I can pollinate this with another one. This one got repotted a few months ago now as well and certainly appreciated that. This one is Tephra Cactus Geometricus. Very cool looking plant. Hopefully this year this will grow some new segments. Next is this little Areocarpus Cotubianus. A little bit dehydrated, but then it hasn't had any water since October. Lovely Areocarpus though, that one. Then this awesome Ferrocactus Lattice Venus. Probably my favourite Ferrocactus, this one. Amazing spines, especially with the sunlight hitting them. So these next four are from Kath from Purple and Thorns. Mammillaria denudata, which has just come into flower. You can see another bud there ready to open. Blooming a little early, but I'm not complaining. Then this lovely Hawthia hybrid called Tanigra. Lots of pups forming on this one. You can see this being a nice big clump in time. Then some lithops. They're still alive. But then I've only watered these twice since Kath sent them. But they have grown a little. Then there's Parodia, which did flower last year and is actually self-fertile. Managed to pollinate it with its own flowers and got quite a few seeds from it. These next ones are from Anna of Cactus Caffeine, Mammillaria sinellis. Vicious hooked spines on this though. I always remember as a kid my dad had this plant in his collection and I got my hand caught in it and he had to get a pair of scissors and cut the spines away from my hand. The more I tried to get unhooked the more spines I got hooked into my hand. Yeah that wasn't a fun experience. Then this lovely aloe snowstorm, which for me is a crazy fast grower and very prolific with offsetting. Repotted this last year and it's pretty much outgrown this pot already. Bloomed recently as well. You can see the remnants of the flower spike coming out of the mother plant. Then this Luchtenbergia principis. Very cool plant this one. 
and not many people know this cactus is closely related to ferrocactus and you can actually cross pollinate those two and have something that's called a ferrobergia and this tephrocactus articulatus sometimes called the paper spine cactus done well this one last year it grew that new segment on top there then we have some from Claire of Cactus Cove Mammillaria elongata I was happy Claire sent this as I have the other one called Copper King so it's nice to have both of them Chamelabivia, not sure on the species but could be rose quartz bloomed last year and it has very similar flowers to that then there's Corypantha busy making lots of offsets over the summer then these two mammillaria not sure on the idea of these but they grew pretty rapidly over the summer so yeah if you know the idea of this one please let me know in the comments some from Magda of succulents and cacti in the UK this lovely gymnasium which I can't remember the name of but it'll be up on the screen then their second opsis which I think is oxygona Again, a bit dehydrated, but as with a lot of the plants I'm showing here, they're in their winter rest period. Then this lovely Gasteria liliputana, which has been more active over the autumn and producing some offsets. Adramiscus. Could probably do with a bit more light, so I might pop this under a grow light. Seems to be doing most of its growing now during the cooler months, and we haven't had much sun recently, so I think it has stretched a little. Then we have some from Lynn of Desert Plants of Avalon. This awesome looking Gasteria species. I love the big chunky leaves on this one. Grown quite a bit as well since Lynn sent it to me. Then this cool looking Ripsalis paradoxa. And those two segments coming off the main stem is all the growth it put on in the past year or so. Love the twisted look this one has. Then this very nice euphorbia. That longest stem was the cut in Linsen, and since then has grown four new shoots. A 
I see another little one coming up there. Yeah, lovely euphorbia, that one. Then one of my favorites that you sent to me, Lynn. This gorgeous looking dickia. Lynn labeled it as Fosteriana, but I think it's actually Brevifolia. Awesome looking plant though. Producing some offsets as well. The thorns on this are pretty lethal though. Then we have some from Clyde of Morris Park in the Ozarks. This Euphorbia opuntoides, grown two new branches since you sent it Clyde, and did flower as well. Not sure if that's a seed pod forming though. And another little shoot coming up there. Euphorbia stellaspina. These ones are special because Clyde took these from a plant in his collection that was coming to the end of its life. So very happy to have these. And one of my favorite aloes, Christmas sleigh. This has done very well. Starting to offset too. Been exposing this one to more light from a grow light as well. And it's brought those spikes out in a nice red color. Finally, this Monodinium lugardiae. Don't know what it is with this plant, Clyde, but since you sent it to me, it's never lost its leaves. Just keeps growing new ones. So I hope you enjoyed this little update video on some of the plants Edith and myself have kindly been gifted over the past couple of years. As I said, the others will all feature in a collection tour video soon. It's been a little while since I've done one of those. Links to everyone's channels will be in the description below as well. So thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to like and comment. Consider subscribing to the channel. Hit the notification bell as well so you know when I upload a new video. You will be safe and well, and I shall see you next time. Salam, pop, alam. Bye for now.